what's happening to the whole society. In fact, society right across the globe, people are polarizing their views and they're becoming less and less tolerant of listening to other people's views. And listen, that's what really life's about. You should have a balanced view and, and understand the other side before you go and knock it. Look at Posey Parker. Hey, let's bring Vaughan in. He'll know all about this. Hey, Gilda Max and man, is it great to see you again, bro? Hey, Posey Parker. Look, I think the Posey Parker fiasco might have done us all a favor. Cancel culture has just gone too far. And if we needed proof of that, the empirical evidence was laid out in all of its shameful glory at Al Albert Park at the weekend. But, you know, before I go there, uh, what happened to Posey Parker? Bloody disgrace. I mean, honestly, Max, I'd never heard of Posey Parker two weeks ago, but thanks to our media, by the time she set foot in New Zealand, she was the equivalent of the devil incarnate. That fiasco that happened, it should be uh, no surprise to anybody. You know, do, do you think we hang that one on the media, Max? Oh, absolutely. Because every visual we got of the media, one, they labelled her anti-trans, and then I've, I've actually heard her say, I, I'm not anti-trans. Then the next thing, every visual we saw had those guys giving the Nazi salute. And and she said that I didn't even I didn't even invite these people to my you know rally, so I think we should I mean as a society listen to people but to drown them out and not allow them to speak and sh and throw them out of the country without speaking a word publicly is a disgrace and I'm ashamed of it. Yes, Max, and you know you you bring up a really good point in terms of we. We, she was built up that by the time she stepped off the plane at Auckland Airport, we had some sort of loose unit, uh, right wing um, uh, protester. When when you really look at what she stood for, she was protecting what she believed to be woman's position. And she was proudly a woman. And she believed that the ability to reproduce. So she's talking about that. And that was her area of expertise. Sure, she might be making a paid gig out of it and all of that. But, gee, you know, she's not the first to be doing that in this world. So, you know, from, from my perspective uh, on that, I go back to this bloody cancel culture, Max. And it's a very fine line between cancel culture being a useful tool, it can be, and with it being a destructive weapon. And what we saw at the weekend was a destructive weapon on both sides of that Posey Parker fiasco. There was behavior by humans that could only be described as cowardly, pathetic, mentally unstable, feral. You know, And what we're seeing more and more, Max, is that um, the culture of fear and censorship being channeled through primitive emotions. And by the way, the political aspect is a real concern, Max. I, I don't know if you've seen it, but Green co-leader, Madama Davidson, uh, check out the video of Line. Man, talk about loser, blaming all the violence towards women on white men. I mean, what are we talking? We're talking, this is an MP. Um, Stuart La Nash was sacked a couple of weeks ago for saying something out of line. going to be very interesting to see where this line goes. Um, and, you know, the political presence didn't stop there, Max. There were right-wing neo-Nazis. There were hysterical left-wing wokey dokies It was a damn zoo. Cancel culture like we just saw is actually a contradiction to free speech. And so, you know, what we saw was the use of gutless and intimidation to silence someone just because they had a different view. You know, this is New Zealand 2023, not Germany 1936. So I'll close with this, Max. What happened in our society to good old-fashioned moral reasoning? You know, bro, decision-making by use of principles and values, you know, reflecting on the right and the wrong, the good and the bad, the just and the unjust, making a decision and deciding to take action, if any. So right now, there's no bigger red flag that signals bad time for democracy than cancel culture swinging too far. Bottom line, if we cannot hold individuals accountable for that disgrace that happened to Posey Parker last weekend, that makes us Kiwis no more than a not a very advanced breed of monkeys. That's my lot, bro. I tell you what, I'm ashamed of their behaviour. I actually am ashamed. Internationally, we made the headlines and for throwing someone out of this country, not allow, allowing her to speak. Um, look, the other thing I understand about Posey Parker, she's a protector of women's rights. She's not a protester of anti-trans, and it's just so that happens that they are the ones blocking it. But by goodness, the aggression, the anger, the the yeah. problems, and we saw that it was I would say assault. If there's not an arrest after this, I think there's been an absolute bias, and this country's been really poorly represented. Um, yeah. I, I actually do think we I, I feel ashamed to see one yeah. of the world's biggest authors actually saying that they've looked upon New Zealand and not impressed at all.